Buenos días, Chula Vista. ¿Cómo están? Yo súper emocionada de estar aquí con ustedes. But don't worry, this is not TEDx in Spanish. I'm just too excited to hold it in. But seeing all of you sitting there reminds me of the experience being on top of the hill, watching over the city lights of Chula Vista. Growing up in Tijuana, Mexico had its own magic. We are only 12 miles down the road, so we could experience the beauty of two countries. The city lights of Chula Vista always mesmerize me. I used to tell my mother, look at all those shining stars. There was nothing particularly special about the lights we used to see from my uncle's house. I was just curious to know about the people there, how they lived, how they behaved, or how they experienced each other. I didn't know life had experience of migration prepared for me. Studying high school in Tijuana, I met my sweetheart. I fell in love and walked out of home with a big smile in a big white dress. My mother was proud. When he said, let's move to Chula Vista, I thought, why not? But I had a challenge. I did not speak English. I wanted to be ready, so three months coming here, before coming here, I started feeding myself with English words for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I must say that as short as the drive was from Tijuana, the culture change was still shocking. Changing egg and steak burrito for sweet pancakes, <laughs> jalapeno hot sauce for ketchup, <laughs> and kissing my coworkers good morning for good morning. <laughs> Newly arrived, I wanted to fit in and thought of changing my name, my hair color, and tried faking my accent as much possible. But it hit me. This body, this face, and this tongue make me who I am. I must wear them with pride. Anyway, this accent is not going away in five, in 10, or in 17 years. No matter how hard I try, it takes me a weekend with the family to get it back. <laughs> and speaking of family, when I was looking for my first job in Chula Vista, my family, well, rather in-laws, told me there is no way you can get a job in Chula Vista similar to the one you had in Tijuana. Those jobs in the office are hard to get, even for Americans. I almost believe them, but I am stubborn. And every time somebody tells me something is not for me, I let curiosity wonder, why not? Maybe I just have to try harder than anybody else did before. I thought it was right. After all, my father had built wings for me, wings made of dreams. Wings made of beliefs in the possibilities. Wings he and my mother had built with effort and sacrifices. So why not trying to fly? After so much asking why not, I got my first job as a receptionist. Of course, I had fairy godmothers. One of them, Judy Marsh, my first boss. She said she was patient enough for me to develop my English skills. Sometimes I think she might still be waiting. <laughs> but she did prove her patience, because you know what I found out? That people in America have very similar first and last names. They do. Every time I picked up the phone and said, this is Minerva, who am I speaking with? All of them answered something like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It was so hard to understand them in English. But Judy taught me a trick. Do you mind spelling your name for me? Then I also found out they can spell very quickly, P-A-T-M-A-D-S-H. Judy, Mr. McIntosh is on the line for you again. She must have talked to 20 different Mr. McIntosh in two years. It was difficult. Unfortunately, equally difficult was getting divorced. Before I decided college was for me, I had to overcome very difficult times at home. Without being 
able to emotionally describe or put a name to the situation, I still had the strong thought that one day I would be able to get up on my feet. But being on pain one day, speaking on the phone, I heard myself saying, this is not for me. I don't have what it takes. The voice on the other line patiently waited and finally said, remember, you are capable of whatever you believe you are capable of. You say, not you. Let me ask you something. Why not? Why not try? That was my father untangling my wings and feeding the dreams again. Education was my path in becoming a stronger person. San Isidro and Chula Vista Adult Schools, Southwestern Community College, San Diego State University. 11 long years after arriving to Chula Vista, I certified public accountant. I work now as a controller for a statewide nonprofit. Por qué no? Almost a newly arrived Latina, why not? A survivor of domestic violence, but why not? My job certainly fits the vision of my parents, and I've come to realize I am not alone. You might remember this phrase from Spider-Man's uncle, with great power comes great responsibility. It is true. My job as a controller asks for the best version of my professional self, the best version of my educated self. It constantly pushes me to search for knowledge and improvement, to serve this community, to improve this community, starting in the only place I have power, my heart. I fell in love with Chula Vista, and I have lived here ever since I moved to the United States. I don't need to go far to be successful. Attending Chamber of Commerce meetings or volunteering at local organizations, I realized that professionals in this region are equally passionate for more, for asking, why not me? And let me ask you something. Why not all of us? We are already a part of a community. By living here or visiting, why not develop into the best version of ourselves? Through education, if that is the way, through inspiration, through hard work, using our own passion, honoring our roots, our paths, taking pride and servicing back. We are already a community of why nots. Chula Vista has evolved from 1911, when the city voted in favor of the railroad that connects to San Diego from 1961, when this beautiful community college was built and continues to grow because it's certainly asking, why not try serving more students? Chula Vista, we belong to a country of funders who thought, why not try uniting 50 great states? A country of great people like Martin Luther King asking, why not dreaming? People like you and I who work hard every day for a better future because why not? I often visit my beautiful hometown. A couple of years ago, I made a special visit to my middle school teachers. One of them told me, Minerva, people cannot be motivated. They can only be inspired by those who lead by example. Today, I invite you to be the inspiration of Chula Vista's new generations. Be the shining stars that others wonder, how is it like? Only by being the best version of ourselves, we can inspire those who in the next few years will become the new professionals, doctors, engineers, fathers, mothers, business owners. We can start today. We are already here, TEDx Chula Vista. It's a good place to allow ourselves being inspired. Why not? Why not try? Thank you. <laughs>